Hi guys, it's Phil here, and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to create materials, and it's dead, going to be dead simple, just basically showing you how you can put them onto shapes and objects, put them onto individual faces on the shapes as well, and also how you can use pulling preset materials that you don't actually have to create yourself, that are already in the program itself. So to start with, if we look down at the bottom here, we've actually got where our materials space is and you can see it's empty because we haven't got anything in yet so all we've got to do is double click down here and you see it creates a material straight away for you and then all we have to do is double click and it gives you all the settings exactly there for you so of course what I'm going to show you is color and glow and then show you how to use alpha just the basic ones to start off with so color of course you've got your different color settings up here so all you have to do is drag these different sliders to exactly the color you would want and then all we have to do with this material we've got so we've got this blue and all we can do is we'll grab a cube and then all we've got to do is click and drag and there's your material onto your object now if we were to add a light into this you'll notice how it's got a bit of a shine to it, so when we render it, it's got that kind of bit of a shine to it. And that's because whenever you create a texture, it automatically has reflectance on it. So if we were to switch that off, you can automatically see it's just one matte colour. You don't have any reflectance on at all. So what we can do, what we can also do within colour, is we've got texture here. So we can actually load an image in. So if we get this little arrow here, and we click load image, and we went with this Captain America shield we've got here and clicked open. You'll notice it, or it straight away puts the Captain America shield around this area onto where we've placed our, our texture. And if we switch the light off, you'll see it's around the whole of the cube. And then what we can do is if we go to Alpha, because I've, I've got a PNG of this image here, we can actually go to Alpha switch it on by clicking the little box next to it and then just load in the exact same image straight in and what you'll notice is all the edges around the outside are taken away just like the PNG would be so it's dead dead simple we'll switch that off for now what we can do is if you wanted to actually make it light up you can actually click tick the glow here and you'll see in the example box here that it's already showing you what it's actually going to look like, but it's not showing you within our preview area within where our cube is. So all you have to do is come to the top here where render is and click on the render button and you'll see straight away it's glowing and it's straight there already. And we can of course we've got settings in here that we can play about with so we can increase the outer strength to make it glow that little bit extra if you actually wanted to do that. But yeah, that's that's the basics of using textures. And if you wanted to do it where you only wanted the texture on one of the faces of the shape, what we can do is delete the texture from there. Press C. What this does is it makes it editable. Then come over and click the polygons, and you can actually select a face. And then we just have to drag our texture onto that face. And then we click render, and you'll see that's just that one face glowing with just that texture on it. But yeah, that's the basics. Any comments, any questions, put them in the comments below, and we'll see you again soon.